Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Pax Bellum's ARID, or Arid Macroalgae Reactor. It's a big box. If you want macroalgae to be at the heart of your refiltration system, want to supercharge that algae growth for maximum nutrient export, and even be able to remove excess CO2 from your calcium reactor's effluent for a boost in pH, then check out Pax Bellum's Arid N-Series. These are like the supercar of the macroalgae reactor world. Using algae like Catomorpha in a refugium to help remove excess nutrients like phosphate and nitrate is something reefers have been doing for a long time now, not only because it's an easy and natural way to get the job done, but also because algae is just really good at what it does, and rather than getting worse at absorbing those nutrients as time goes on, like chemical media, it actually gets better as it grows and there's more of that marvelous macroalgae to feed on those nutrients. More and more reefers have been gravitating towards growing algae in reactors because in some refugiums, while simple and convenient, are notoriously messy. But when it comes to Pax Bellum's approach, it has always been aimed at supercharging the growth of macroalgae for maximum performance, resulting in rapid and consistent nutrient uptake, really leaning into that catomorphous natural ability to efficiently uptake not only excess nutrients, but also other unwanted elements like heavy metals from your reef tank by pushing its growth to the limit. This thing is the hot rod of macroalgae reactors down to every last detail. So yeah, it's gonna help, you know, keep your Kato from making a mess of your sump, but it is a lot more than that. And before we continue, just in case you've already decided this is the reactor for you, there are a few things you should know. Number one, bigger's not better. You want to stick with the size that is rated for your tank, and that's straight from Pax Bellum, who would stand to make more money if you bought a bigger one, but they don't want you to do that because they want to make sure it's going to work right for you. Number two, you're probably going to want to get a smaller protein skimmer or a protein skimmer that you're going to be able to easily tune down for a tank that is smaller than yours because this is going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting. And if you want the skimmer to work as intended, you're going to need a smaller one. Number three, you do not want to use this in conjunction Function with things like carbon dosing, zeovit, uh, lanthanum chloride, or any other phosphate removal system, since this is going to be doing all of it. And lastly, if you plan to use the ARID with your calcium reactor, you'll want to also grab the N-Series calcium reactor injection assembly. It doesn't come with the unit, but I'll touch more on that in just a bit. In the box, you'll find the Pax Bellum ARID reactor with pre-installed light tube and sleeve, a pair of quick disconnects, the nitrate and molybdenum, as well as iron and manganese supplements, the meanwhile power supply, some super lube synthetic grease for electrical connectors and O-rings, some spare thumb screws, a quick start guide and troubleshooting guide, and a cool prismatic sticker for repping that Pax Bellum pride. Pax Bellum's arid reactor holds a number of patents and uses refined high power lighting and even laminar flow through the chamber of algae, paired with clear guidance on flow rates, photo period, minimum phosphate and nitrate levels, and dosing of the included nitrogen, molybdenum, and iron and manganese so that you can create the ultimate macroalgae filtration system. The fit and finish on these reactors is top notch and they are lovingly and expertly handcrafted in the USA. And it definitely shows the polished edges look fantastic, the components feel robust, the locking quick disconnects have a satisfying click and firm hold while still being very easy to apply and remove, and the lighting system is possibly the most impressive part of this reactor, but we're going to dive into that in just a bit. There are four models currently available, the N18 for 40 to 120 gallons, the N24 for 120 to 300 gallons, the N30 for 250 to 500 gallons, and the N36 for 300 to 1,000 gallons. The N18 is the smallest model with a 6.5 inch footprint and sitting at just over 16 inches tall and is the only model with an included bracket for hang-on applications. The N24 has a nine and a half by eight and a quarter inch footprint and sits at just over 22 and a half inches tall. The N30 has an 11 and a half by 10 inch footprint and is 30 inches tall. And the N36 is massive with a 13 inch by 12 inch footprint and sits at 36 inches tall. The setup is very similar to other macroalgae reactors and the Pax Bellum can be set up either in sump or externally. 
All of the fittings are threaded in, so if you do prefer to hard plumb the reactor into your system, you certainly can, but soft tubing is ideal since it allows you to move the reactor and tubing freely when it comes time for maintenance. Once you've picked up your choice of tubing and pump rated for your model of arid reactor, you can attach the tubing to the quick disconnect fittings and then attach the pump to the tubing at the bottom of the reactor. A DC pump is always a great option as it adds an extra point of tuning by increasing or decreasing the amount of flow through the Kato to dial in that growth. Water enters at the bottom of the reactor and then flows up to the top of the reactor and then back to the sump or aquarium. Next, you can open up the reactor and add one to two handfuls of Kato to each section and spread it out evenly around the light tube. Once in place, you can twist the center disc to tighten down the spirals and lock the Kato in place so you can easily slide it back into the reactor. Next, tighten down those thumb screws and then you can turn on the pump. If you are using a DC pump, you can start with the flow rate of your pump right in the middle of that suggested flow range. After that, hook up the LED power supply to a timer or your aquarium controller and have the ARIDS lighting set to run the opposite schedule of your reef tank lighting with a one hour overlap. So the reactor should turn on one hour before the lights on your tank shut off and it should turn off one hour after your reef tank lights come back on. Then it's just a matter of sitting back and watching your Kato grow and dosing the included iron and manganese supplement to ensure that thick, robust Kato growth and, you know, testing your phosphates and nitrates to make sure they're in the range you'd like them to be in and they don't get too low because it is definitely possible for the reactor to do its job too well, so testing for phosphate and nitrate regularly is best practice. You will most likely find while phosphate is coming down or being maintained at your desired level, that nitrates are being reduced more rapidly, and that is why they've included a bottle of nitrogen and molybdenum that you can dose to keep your nitrates between 20 to one to 100 to one nitrate to phosphate ratio, which is what they recommend. So for most of us, that would translate to one to five ppm of nitrates to zero 0.5 ppm of phosphate. When you eventually run out of both of these macroalgae based supplements, they are available in 125 mil all the way up to 1000 milliliter bottles. And like I was mentioning earlier, Pax Bellum uses their internal light bar to illuminate the algae from the center of the reactor outwards. This is one seriously strong lighting system. It puts out the equivalent of intense noon hour tropical sunlight with upwards of 2000 par measured at the innermost area of the reactor, which is a ton of light. The LEDs wrap around an efficient and silent heat pipe that keeps the LEDs cool so they perform optimally and last the test of time. The ARID uses a mix of 660 nanometer reds and 420 nanometer blue LEDs that are phosphor coated to add in a fuller spectrum and whiter appearance for more robust Kato growth. And I must admit, I'm personally really happy to see that they didn't go with that hydroponics blurple color that tends to be really hard on the eyes. Having a spectrum a little bit closer to daylight makes it pretty easy to see when your Kato has that lush green growth that you're looking for. While the light tube isn't waterproof, it is water resistant and the LEDs are protected by a clear film and the end of the tube is dip sealed. So short of letting this light tube go for a swim, which you definitely do not wanna do, any sort of wet hands, small splashes or humidity is nothing to worry about. When it comes time for that weekly Kato harvest and maintenance, Pax Bellum has made things easier by including a sleeve inside of the reactor chamber that can be removed and cleaned so you don't need to take the whole reactor body to your sink. It is optional though, so if you do prefer to have a clear view of your Kato to see how it's growing right through the side of the reactor, you can just leave it aside and these beautiful windows here are gonna give you a nice view. The outer wrap is white just like that internal sleeve, so all of the light will be contained in the reactor and reflected back at that Kato all the same just means you might have to take the whole reactor to the sink a little bit more often to give it a decent clean. The quick disconnects that I mentioned earlier definitely help with the process by making it easy to remove the reactor without any trouble and the thumb screws on the top of the reactor are very smooth to turn which I was very happy to see. I'm also really glad to see that Pax Bellum makes all of the parts that make up this reactor available as replacement parts so if you ever find yourself without a working Pax Bellum reactor because you maybe accidentally had an oopsie daisy with something and broke it you know you're not stuck buying a whole new unit you can just get a replacement 
replacement part for the part that you damaged. Another really cool part about that is Pax Bellum makes every effort to have all of the newer components for new models backwards compatible with the older models. So if you do need, let's say a new light tube and they have a generation, you know, four or five, whatever it is, light tube, you can get that newer light tube and stick it in your older generation reactor. That is something that I really love and good on you Pax Bellum. That's the way to do it. And like I promised, for those looking to create that perfect marriage between their calcium reactor and their macroalgae reactor, Pax Bellum has an injection assembly you can pick up and add on so that excess CO2 in your calcium reactor's effluent can be fed into the arid, providing your macroalgae with extra CO2 for photosynthesis and boosted growth, while simultaneously raising the pH of the effluent before it makes it back into your reef tank, minimizing that pesky little drop in pH that calcium reactors are notorious for. The assembly will fit all models of the N-series reactors and also includes a drip counter. The assembly can be set up so that it can feed water to the calcium reactor and back, or to passively receive the effluent from the calcium reactor if being used with a continuous duty dosing pump like the FXSTP, which is excellent since I am now a huge fan of setting up calcium reactors the easy way, which if you're unfamiliar with, you can check out in this video right here. Until I watched that video, I was really intimidated by the idea of setting up a calcium reactor. They looked really complicated, but that just completely demystified it for me. And now I really want to give one a go. I've got a reef tank, no reason not to try a calcium reactor. And that is exactly why I'm switching over to this beast so that I can, you know, get that little pH lift on that effluent. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> 